and welcome to another episode. Still, we're in the base, an empty one, because I have yet to actually get some of the mods that I need to actually build stuff in here. I have uh, some complex builds in the making, so while we wait for those mods to update to 1.20, I decided that I was going to explore other features of the update. So, uh, I've been out exploring a little bit and I found something new that maybe you guys have uh, note or know what it is in case you have followed along with snapshots and everything. These uh, new type of items are called or are something called smithing templates. This one is uh, particularly the coast armor trim. And what you do with this is that you place one of these uh, inside of here. You place an uh, armor piece uh, where anyone would work. It would work with iron or leather, anything. But I think most uh, most people want to use them on the netherite ones. And then you decide on an, um, uh, on some sort of uh, yeah color item. You can see some of them here, ingot or crystal it says. So you can use redstone, lapis, uh, all sorts of uh, iron, gold and copper. You can even use amethysts. And I had emeralds on me. So here you can see in a little bit of a uh, preview here that we get uh, the coast uh, coast armor trim that looks like this with the green on uh, in this uh, case on a chest plate. I'm not going to use it though because it consumes the the coast armor uh, the smithing template and I don't want to lose lose those because I want to use some uh, other stuff instead. I'm just going to place those in there. So I have been. Uh, trying to look out for uh, yeah different uh, armor trims and everything and try and find the ones I like the most. And uh, I'm going to switch over to my creative world here where I uh, show a little bit of uh, uh, what I have been testing out. I did try out every uh, template on uh, netherite armor and used diamond for all of them so I could get a comparison to each and every one of them. And uh, the one I like the most is uh, one called ribs. And uh, the ribs one is uh, found in the nether. So for today's episode, I'm going to actually go and look uh, for new nether terrain so we can get new chests that's maybe be able to get some new uh, templates and everything and uh, look, go and look for them and see if we can uh, make our armor look a little little bit nicer than it is right now. It's only aesthetics, it has nothing to do with armor uh, yeah, ability or anything changing, it's just for the looks. So we're going to go out and explore that and depending on how much time it takes, I maybe we, uh, will be going out exploring for more 1.20. So we're going to start by going into the nether and find ourselves another fortress. Okay, so I found a nether fortress pretty close by to where uh, I actually got into the nether from, from our portal. I don't know if this has been pre-generated or, or uh, nothing, but uh, we're still going to look for it. And uh, hopefully we're not going to, to get... Uh... Oh! Oh no! No, no, no! Oh god, this is not good. I'm going to die. <laughs> oh god. Not good. Not good at all. You could think that I. it was the first time in another fortress for me. I'm usually so good at this and trying to get it, but I got a little bit panicky as you probably saw. So yeah, and uh, it's raining and even thundering, I think. So yeah, this was not the best <laughs> best start of the episode. I'm going to retrieve my items and we're going to go a little bit <laughs> closer and a little bit more safer next time. Okay, so we're back at it again. I just lost around 100 levels, but I managed to get 
a lot of my items back, all, all of them at least. I had to kill one of the skeletons because it has uh, it took my pants and uh, I didn't like that. So what we're going to do is that we're actually going to, to make it a little bit safer here. I'm going to use these barriers over here and uh, we're going to use these barriers as well. And now we're going to be a little bit safer, I think. Here we have them. So if I place that there, I should be safe from this guy at least. And uh, we kill that one and uh, only gold. I'm not going to uh, take uh, say no to that either. And then we can continue on here. And uh, like I said, I'm going to take it a little bit safer right now because I don't want to die once more. This was an empty... Uh, empty space so uh, just going to move on to the corner here and uh, in case you're wondering because I probably you guys are going to do that it looks a pretty bright inside of here right now and no it's not because uh, I have a yeah I don't know what you which you guys think but uh, I have a mod on that's called gamma something i don't remember actually but i'm going to link it down in the description as usual uh that makes me able to uh higher we get a little bit higher uh yeah gamma resolution and a little bit brighter inside of here if i would change it down into the lower part i think it's going to be a much worse experience for you guys which uh, with youtube compression and everything so i'm going to use it when we are in these dark spots and uh, hopefully we're going to get everything else there. Got some more. I'm not going to take that. There we have, I saw another chest. But if I'm honest with you guys, I think that this maybe have been pre-generated and I don't know how it's going to work. If it's going to have any of the templates inside of it or not. But we're going to see. I don't remember or know if the templates are very rare inside of these spaces, but yeah. Diamonds, nothing to get wrong about. And iron ingots that we don't need, we have a lot of those. Okay, so try and explore more of this place then and uh, see where we can uh, get uh, more uh, more chests maybe. I will see. Maybe I need to go out a little bit further from this spot over wall, but uh, yeah, nothing of interest in there. I think this is pre-generated, so uh, I haven't... Uh, uh, selected any of these before and yeah i haven't trimmed the nether uh, with the mca selector so uh, yeah i don't believe that this is going to be it we need to find more uh, nether fortresses and hopefully find new ones instead we'll see i have to fly around in here some um, somewhere and try and find more of these and it's going to take time. It's usually when you are going out exploring. Here though, this is new terrain because we have lava flowing here that are new because it's going into there. And we have a bastion remnant, but we also have brutes inside of there. And uh, as you saw with the skeletons, I'm not that great to go into the bastions right now. I was hoping to actually find templates because you can find one of them inside of here. It's called Snout, I think, if I remember correctly. I can be wrong on that. But yeah, I don't think it's worth it to actually try and get uh, get to that part. I'm going to try and fly out and see if we can find something under of interest instead. So... Sadly, I didn't find anything in the nether. I've been out for almost half an hour finding a lot of ne nether fortresses, 
but uh, no armor trims, nothing of that sort. I even looted some of the bastions and didn't get anything either, except for some ancient debris and some gold. So uh, I decided to go for a different approach and uh, decided to go for different stuff in 1.20. So we have now a new tool that's called a brush. And uh, what I have found as well is that I've been out searching for these type of structures. These are called trail ruins and inside of them you can find templates as well, but you can also find really nice structures and this is part of the archaeology uh, part of the update. So I suspicious or <laughs> suspicious, no, I was going to say, I suspect that this is suspicious suspicious gravel. So I'm going to use the brush and we'll see what happens here. Something blue, I think it's going to be something, yeah, we got the, got the blue dye, not the most exciting maybe, but yeah, we're going to, to go through and tree, see if we can find any more stuff. These things can be very large, so we, we need to, to be a little bit careful uh, so we don't destroy any of the of the suspicious gravel that's going to be in here and uh, we'll see if we can find anything about it. I uh, expect we also need uh, our, our shovel here and like I said be a little bit uh, careful. So there we have some more suspicious sand. We'll see if we are lucky. Uh, there we got a wooden hoe, not the most exciting, but uh, yeah, we're going to continue on down here, I think. And we'll see what we can find. Okay, so the trail ruins didn't give us much of anything really, mostly junk items. So I decided to go for uh, trying out a new place instead where we have the desert temples. These are also uh, places for to find suspicious sand instead of gravel this time. And uh, they can give us uh, some of the items that I'm after as well. I already uh, did one of the desert temples and and sadly, I forgot to hit record when I was doing that. So uh, I am going to show you guys how it looks inside of another desert temple. Like I said, it's, this is a huge desert. So uh, I had no trouble finding one more inside of here. And in the first desert temple, I found some of the stuff that we're after in today's episode. For example, I found one uh, or two smithing templates. They were in the chamber down below with the chests and TNT and everything like that and it was the dune armor trim and of course the dunes in the desert makes pretty much sense and in the suspicious sand i found three price pottery shirts and, uh, and one archer pottery shirt and then we found uh, also some emeralds and i found a diamond and one tnt the rest of the tnt is of course from the chamber down below so what I'm going to do is then I'm going to check inside of here and uh, see, yeah, there we have the suspicious sand and I can see it, but I want to go down and uh, look into the chamber first and see what happens here. And I don't have any sort of light, so I'm going to turn the gamma up so it doesn't uh, are a bit too dark inside of here. So to begin with, we need to remove the TNT and I'm not going to say no to that. So we're going to take that away and then going to go up again and we found some more stuff inside of here uh, oh there are two dunes maybe there is i was thinking how how common they are uh, inside of here and right now i've got two for two in each and every one of them so yeah and one golden apple nice so there we have everything that we got from that part of the temple. I'm going to go up now and we're going to check for the suspicious sand. And uh, like I said, we saw one here earlier, so we're going to take that one. And I think it's one more pottery shard or shard. 
I need to, to try and take that one and learn how to do it with the right amount of uh, names. And uh, I believe that, yeah, here we have the sort of trailway going down, same way uh, as in the first temple I was in, but I'm going to you do it like this. I noticed that the easiest way was actually to just go down and uh, do it layer by layer so you don't miss any of the suspicious sand. And I don't see any of it down here, so we're going to go one more uh, layer and uh, see if we can find any more. There I can see one. And it's one more shard. And is it, uh, what was it? Yeah, it was the archer one. So uh, mostly archers and uh, diamond or uh, the uh, price it's called. But I really love that one. So it's no hassle for me, I think. And uh, yeah, it's a little bit different from the uh, the te temple I was in before. Uh, that one was a little bit more squarish, so it was much easier to see where sand and everything was. And uh, yeah, there we have more emeralds. And we have one more suspicious sand there, so I'm going to remove the items. We can get to it. One more TNT. I see a little bit of a theme going on inside of the desert temples, what the type of uh, stuff you can find here. And uh, we're going to take it one more layer. And there you heard it. I accidentally destroyed one of the suspicious sands with the shovel. So that's why I want to be a little bit careful when we're doing this to try and not destroy too much of them. I already did that one in the trailer ruins. So here we have one more, uh, that one was uh, one more archer, and here we have one more diamond. And uh, there we have one in the middle, with TNT inside of it. Okay, so now I don't see any more suspicious sand, we're going to go down, and we are in the final layer, so uh, maybe we won't find anything else except for, yeah. Nothing else here, nothing else there. There we have the sand that goes into there. Yeah, nothing of this sort. It looks the same as in uh, all of the other, or the, all of the others, the one temple I've been to before. So yeah, there we have it. And uh, maybe trying to get up here, nice. So yeah, there you have the sort of desert temples and their new locations where you can find a lot of stuff. Apparently it's pottery shards and some diamonds, some emeralds, a little bit of TNT that you can get from here. And apparently in the chambers down below that we are used to, we have the dune smithing template. Nice. I'm going to take that back and look at it actually. I don't remember it completely, but if I remember correctly, it's one of those uh, that have the, the dot on and I don't like the one that have circles and dots so it's going to be a little bit of a travel for me because this is pretty far out from the from the mansion but we're going to see each other when I'm back there and uh, we'll see how the dune template looks and then we'll decide if I'm going to continue on searching for new uh, 1.20 stuff or if we're going to explore something else in this episode maybe. Okay, so we're back at the mansion and uh, I think the sun is setting, so I need to uh, go to sleep soon. But yeah, we're going to try out all of the new stuff here first. So what we're going to do is that I want to show you guys uh, how this looks. I don't have uh, an armor plate on me, but we can take the boots maybe. And we place those and we place the emeralds because that's what I want. And we take the dunes and uh, yeah, not bad. That looks pretty nice. And uh, if we take the diamond that I got, we also see that it changes a little bit of color. It looks a little bit different. It still looks very nice though, uh, but I don't want the dune one, so I'm not going to use that one. I also want to, to actually try out uh, these pottery shards. So you take four and make them in this grid pattern. And uh, uh, for each and every one you put in, you get one of the designs on the other side. And we got the careful restoration. And uh, now you can see that this has some lovely designs on it with the, the archer or the bow. And uh, then we have the diamond and the uh, prize on this side. And uh, I think you can, yeah, you can take this up with um, uh, 
yeah, with the self-touch pickaxe. And I don't know how... Yeah, you can take it up with this as well. Do we... Do I have something that's not mend... Or not mending? Uh, silk touch on me. I have the sword. I'm going to try this out because... Yeah. If you destroy the pot, it uh, breaks down into its, the same parts again and you get to build something else out of it. So that's really, really nice to use. And uh, yeah, I'm really happy about what we have found so far. Okay, so I checked up a little bit on the update and uh, we still have some sites that's interesting to us, but I have explored a little bit of the new 1.20 in this episode. I am really looking forward to more of it and I hope you guys are as well. But we're going to actually finish off the episode there because uh, we have gone for a lot of exploration. We had some mishaps in the nether and uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to exploring more of this new update with you guys. Hope you have enjoyed it. Leave a like, leave a comment, maybe even subscribe so you don't miss future episodes. We'll see each other. Goodbye for now.